Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rianne. I'm wearing uh, fake lashes for the first time in a while and they're extremely irritating. But today's video is just gonna be a quick little look at what's inside this month's Petit Vore box. I'm sure the only people watching this who have not heard of Petit Vore are ones that are new to my channel. Allow me. Petit Vore are a vegan and cruelty-free online store. They have fashion, beauty, home stuff. They also have a subscription box service like so. I will put um, information down below if you do want to look into it in your own subscription box. I would also say they're a really nice gift idea too. So I guess first up, this is what the box looks like. You get that card that I just showed you and then you will get your little items in there. So the first item on their little list is the Eye of Horus Brow Define. Now, I've used some of their brow products before and they are really, really nice, but it says that this one is a waterproof brow pencil infused with castor oil to stimulate hair growth for naturally fuller brows. The color I have it in is light. That is another nice thing about the site is you kind of fill out your like beauty profile. So you're more likely to get colors or, you know, targeted products to suit you. Let me just get the thing out. It is a very skinny little pencil. You have the little spoolie on one end, which actually looks like a nice little shape to get really get in there. This is the nib. Obviously I have tattoos, so I'm not the best person to do swatches, but I will do them on my hand. As you can see, there are a few fine little strokes there and then I just scribbled a little bit in so you get a better feel for the color. Very interesting that it is both waterproof and has castor oil in it. Certainly when I rub on it, it looks a bit softer but it's still, still there. So definitely give that a go. Let you guys know how it is. If you have tried this, let me know what you think. The next one on the list is the Audacity. Black Mint Cleanser. I do have the full size of this and I really like it. The full size comes in like a beautiful kind of glass uh, pump bottle. <laughs> it says, activated charcoal and peppermint combined for a truly purifying cleanser that leaves skin clearer and mattified without losing hydration. My experience with the full size one of this, I would say that is pretty accurate. It looks kind of like a sheer black gel and it is also kind of cooling as well. So I would say if you need like something a little tingly and awakening for the mornings. This is a really nice option. Um, and all of their products are absolutely gorgeous. I've tried a few of their other like serums and things. Um, and they're, they have like a nice facial mist that I love too. And they're a really interesting company. So super excited to have this because I know it's a cleanser I already like and I will definitely be putting this in my travel bag. Oh, and the smell of it is just kind of like fresh and minty. Yeah. The next one is the Formulary 55 Sea Clay Body Mask. I like that idea. I like the idea of putting a mask on my body, I'm not gonna lie. It says on the card, this all over detoxifying body treatment mask is designed to tone, treat and tighten, removing impurities and excess oils without stripping the skin. So if you are someone who has like, maybe acne on their chest or back or anywhere like that, it seems like this would be a nice option to use and it is obviously formulated for the body to use. Apply a thin layer over slightly damp skin and allow to dry. Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes and rinse off with warm water. Masks can Oh, they can also be used as facial or spot treatment for those with oily complexions. So it is probably fairly um, strong, I would guess, if they're saying to only use it on oily faces specifically. Um, might be a little too strong to use on more normal or dry skin types on the face. So it's just kind of like a powder, a little bag of powder. I don't know, I will try it out and uh, report back somehow. I usually update you guys over on like Instagram or somewhere like that, so check me out there if you feel so inclined. I have used some of their masks before. Again, they were samples in a Petit Four box and I did really like them. And I do think this would be a sweet little gift if they sell these ones. Be a nice little kind of like stocking stuffer or a little gift for someone. It is really warm in here. I need to do something about it. For example, turn the AC on. But you know, sounds, microphones. And then the last product which is one I know and love, is the St. Tropica Coconut Hot Oil Hair Mask. It says on here, soft, gorgeous locks are yours with this hot oil treatment that reverses damage, strengthens, and thickens hair from root to tip. Um, and I think each one of these is $5. But what I will say is, for me, having fine hair, I will get about three uses out of this. So I'll just squeeze some out, then I fold it down and use typically like a clothespin or something to... Um, 
to uh, seal it off again. This is one of my favourite hair masks. I find it does a really nice job of nourishing the hair without making it feel really heavy and me having a hard time getting it out of my hair. I do have very fine hair so typically oily products like this can be a real pain in the ass even if they are like wash out ones I find them hard to get out sometimes but this one I found pretty easy and I just use my uh, lush shampoo bars afterwards and I don't have any residue in my hair my hair just feels really nice and soft a little bit thicker after I've used this so the ingredients are just coconut oil biotin bringrudge bringrudge Organic horsetail, organic amla, organic hibiscus, green t organic green tea, organic cocoa butter, organic coconut fruit extract. Lots of organic or virgin ingredients in here. It is BPA free, cruelty free and vegan. Sulfate free, paraben free, all natural. It does say on the instructions to like microwave it, but I don't do that. I just run it under the hot tap. Like our tap water in our house gets really hot. So um, I will just kind of like run it under the hot tap. It's pretty liquidy already in here because it's hot in this room. So you could just use it like that or you could get it hotter if you wanted to. And um, you probably could use that on like dry scalps too if you suffered from that. But I'm more of an oily beast as you may be able to tell from the oily shine all over my face. So that is everything from this month's box. Some little tidbits of information on the back. It says, um, current subscribers get a free gift with any full-size purchase from our featured brands collection. Review the products from this box on petivore.com and we'll add um, $1 per product reviewed up to $4 to your rewards for you to shop with. Any non-subscription purchase at Petivore gets 20% back in reward points. And um, share your photo and you may win a surprise. Use hashtag Petivore and tag us at Petivore on uh, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. I will say those are a couple of my favourite things about Petivore other than the fact that I can shop there very too freely. One is the reviews on there. The Petivore community are such thorough reviewers. The other nice thing is when people review you can see like their age range, their skin type, like their makeup style, stuff like that so you can see if that would maybe apply to you. And the other thing is the point system because you can review products from your um, subscription box, earn points that way. Anytime you make a purchase you earn points that way and you can actually use the points as cash on their site essentially. You know you're not just getting like weird little minis in exchange for like 50,000 points. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, just a short one for today, obviously. Everything I showed you and information on the subscription box will be linked and listed down below. My social media will be on the end screen to come. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Yes, I would. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.